So you wanna take a screenshot with your Android phone? I'm here to show you three ways to do it. I have here the Samsung Galaxy S7, which was released about two years ago, but there's still a lot of them out there, and it has a home button. So if you have an Android phone that has a home button, the way to take a screenshot is you hold down the home button and the power button for about two seconds, wait for the screen to make a little animation and make a little shutter noise if you have the sound on, and you're ready to go. Next up, we have the Samsung Galaxy S8 which was Samsung's first flagship that didn't have a home button. So they changed how to take a screenshot a little bit. Instead of pressing the home button, you press the volume down button with the power button. Same time, about two seconds, see a little animation and your screenshot is captured. And finally, I have the Google Pixel 2 XL, but this method works on a variety of, of um, Android phones. You can also use the same as the Galaxy S8. You can hold down the power and the volume down. But on enabled phones, you can also um, use Google Assistant. So you can just say, okay, Google, take a screenshot. And it will take a screenshot of what's underneath the Google Assistant screen. After you take a screenshot, if you wanna share it or edit it, you'll find a notification that pops up right in the uh, notification panel. You slide it open, you tap it, and it shows up. If that's gone, or if it's the next day or the next week and you wanna find out where that screenshot is, open up Google Photos. In the sidebar of the Google Photos app, you'll see an option for device folders. Open that up and you'll see a screenshots album. And inside that, you'll find all of your screenshots and you can edit them, share them, or just simply delete them. In a nutshell, that's how to take a screenshot on an Android phone. Check out the article below for your specific model and to find out how to do it on your phone.